In this three minute convert kit tip video, you are going to learn how to remove extra spacing when using tags for content inside of that personalization content block. I'm Jason Resnick from NurtureKit, NurtureKit.co, and you know that little plus sign in the email editor where it says personalization and then it injects that code into the email? Well, if you've ever dealt with the spacing, once it actually renders that for your content, well, this video is going to be for you. So let's dive in. I'm going to show you how to solve that problem and then why it's there so that you can stop it each and every time. So anytime you create an email, you're going to see this visual editor and there's this plus sign here. And underneath the here, there are what ConvertKit calls content blocks. Now we're going to talk about the personalization content block, specifically the subscriber tags conditional, because what I see happen a lot and get asked a lot about is why is there this extra space here? Uh, around whatever it is that I want to display. Well, the reason is, is that this code actually takes up some space, but it doesn't actually show when the content displays, obviously. So the, the, the fix for this really is just to put it all on one line. So you go to the cursor and bring it all up on one line. And now when I preview, you'll see that the spacing looks as it needs to be. And that's it. It's that simple. So all you really need to do is take that block, put it all on one line and your spacing will be proper. If this was helpful, then go ahead and click that subscribe button, click that bell notification so that you get notified every single time a three minute quick tip drops. And as I always say, if you treat your email list like humans, amazing transformations will happen.